Well, the cleanup continues across Baltimore after severe thunderstorms pound the area, leaving a path of destruction. This was what it looked like last night in Montgomery County. A large tree fell into a home in Gaithersburg. Fire officials say luckily no one was inside that home at the time. In Baltimore County, a tree came crashing down onto a car in a Pikesville parking lot. Let's take a live look at the situation right now from Chopper 13. Uh, Sky Chopper 13 over more damage in Baltimore County right now. WJZ has a team of reporters covering this weather event. We begin with Rick Ritter live in Baltimore County with a look at the damage and more on those who are still without power. Rick. Well, Denise, this is a quick moving system that certainly left its mark. You mentioned a lot of people in this area still without power. We're live here near Joppa Road and Chestnut Avenue, right near Charles Street as well. You can see some of the power lines that are still down. This is like this for blocks and blocks in this area because of high, how high those winds were. And if you come with me this way a little bit, let's check this out. You talk about massive trees that have come down. This one right here came down on this home, nearly splitting it in half. We're told significant damage, to say the least. Officials say this is a perfect example of how these quick moving summer storms can be so destructive. Monday afternoon quickly turned into a dire situation. What started as a hot, humid day ended with the wrath of Mother Nature. A fast moving system that didn't need much time to leave a devastating impact. All of a sudden, the wind came up. Like at 30 seconds. Pounding the Baltimore area and taking down massive trees and power lines like in Paul Dodd's neighborhood in Towson. I heard it fall. Five o'clock, it fell. I heard it. I heard the crash. Along with Chestnut Avenue. You hit Bosley and Joppa and it trees everywhere, Allegheny, our backyard. We have branches that big that are down. And in Pikesville, where cars were crushed. Damage that stretches across the state over to Carroll County as well. At one point, more than 30,000 people were without power, but despite the path of destruction, luckily, no one was injured. That's why I'm probably smiling, because nobody was out, it was safe, it could have went the other way. Back out here live near Chestnut Avenue and Charles Street. Again, those high winds taking down some of the trees like this one here, which nearly split this home in half. We still talk about a lot of people in this area that are without power. This right here is one reason why some of these lines that are down here have been like this for hours now. At one point at the height of this storm, there were close to 30,000 people without power. We're told this afternoon that that number has now dropped to about 4,000. So, Denise, certainly some good news out here, but the cleanup process has a long way to go. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ. What a mess. Thank you, Rick. Now, let's go live to Chopper 13 and Captain Jeff Long with a look at cleanup efforts now underway again in Baltimore County. Captain Jeff? This is uh, in Towson. This is actually Chestnut Avenue that Rick Ritter was talking about. We're going to show you what's left of where that tree fell. Now, this is, uh, you see the BGE crews down there. Everywhere you look in Towson right now, you see BGE crews and you see tree crews. Now, that is what's left on Chestnut Road right there, or Chestnut um, Avenue uh, the, of the tree. But you can see a large part of the tree remains in this yard here. So as we move over here, we're going to give you a shot. You can see that the house right here is mostly covered in a blue tarp right now so definite da uh, damage to the house and a big mess on the driveway right now so there's going to be a lot of cleanup here now we have surveyed just today from pikesville to towson and if you draw a straight line from pikesville up to towson past this area and up towards downtown about a four mile stretch with lots of damage everywhere you look there's cleanup crews and there's leaves in yards there's branches in yards there's fallen trees, trees uprooted. So uh, definitely a powerful storm that, that came through here. And uh, we're going to keep looking, and we're going to be uh, gathering some more footage of all this damage. Reporting live from Chopper 13, 